Welcome back to Riding Bikes in San Diego. We are back on Camino del Rio North, riding west. And I wanted to speed this up, but there's a problem with the software I'm using right now where if I speed up any footage, I can't export the video, which makes it hard to get up. But I wanted to just show y'all how horrible this road is. Um, there is some paint on the other side of the street but it's not consistent and there's no paint on this side of the street that we're on the westbound side. It seems to me that there's plenty of room on this road for real bike lane. I don't know why this road hasn't been repaved. Uh, I can only imagine that, that there are, there's a sense that people don't really use it that much. It's a pretty low traffic road. It's also right along the freeway. Uh, maybe they don't want to be, you know, an alternative that gets congested. But with the stadium just on the other side of the river park to the right of me, this is going to become a more trafficked road. And when we get to the end of this road over to the um, Fenton, where the Fenton connection is going to be, the Fenton Parkway connection over to the trolley station and like the Ikea and Costco and stuff like that, this, is, this road's going to need love. I think that when they give the road love, they might consider taking out that median in the middle of that turning lane. Why? There's no place to turn over here. Back before us, we had some shopping, not some shopping centers, industrial buildings, commercial buildings that were tucked in there. But I don't know if we need a whole turning lane in the middle down the entire street to accommodate the few people who work there. Uh, if those, if that middle lane was taken away, we could maybe have a robust bike lane over here. Look at the texture of this road. I mean, it's broken in all different kinds of ways. And then we go around this curve, and it's just, it's just ugly. I mean, you can see it bouncing around. Some folks have asked me to use stabilization on these videos, but it crops it in a way that I might I think that it ends up looking worse. But um, here's what we got. I mean, you can see me bouncing around on this beat up texture. But we get over here, and I've mentioned it before, but there is going to be a bridge built when we get up to this traffic light. So one of these days, we'll be able to make a right-hand turn and go straight over to the library in Mission Valley, the trolley station, and all the stuff over there. Right now, the only way to get there is to backtrack on the road I was on or keep going straight and then loop all the way around. It adds a whole bunch of miles to something that should be just you know a couple hundred feet. We'll make a turn over here onto this bridge that goes over the uh, freeway. Again, no markings here. And I can't emphasize this enough. This road is the only option to get where we're going. There's no other way to do it unless you want to battle getting under the 8 freeway with, very, with no infrastructure also. So we're, we're making the best of bad situations here. This road is also plenty wide for a bike lane, but again, solo traffic, and I've never had a conflict with anyone crossing this bridge, so that's not so bad. We're gonna take this to Camino del Rio South. Now, if I were to make a left-hand turn, that would take us uh, in bike paint all the way back to 15 bike path, which is fantastic, except for the fact that it goes to this road that doesn't have really anything on it. Instead, we're going to make a right-hand turn, and it's a mixed bag between here and Texas, but we're going to take it anyway. I don't know why everything west gets a bike lane, but over here on the east, or rather on the west side, the east side gets bike lanes. Sorry to flub it up. But this west side uh, doesn't get anything. But again, there's room. There's also a couple of like, residential houses down here, which is a little bonkers to me. Um, I, I don't know when they were built. I don't know who still lives there, but it seems like a very strange place to have a residential home. Anyway, we are on this road, and we're going to take this all the way over to Texas. This is the only road, by the way, that goes there. If I wanted to get to Texas from the road we started on, Camino del Rio North, I would have had to go straight all the way, and I end up on the other side of the 8, which would mean crossing the 8 to get to Texas. Um, and Texas has a bike lane. Texas has, you'll see it, it's got a buffered bike lane with flex posts, but these are the two options we have. And 
either you can stay in a bike lane and be to the north, but then you have to battle the freeway, or you can go south here and just hope that the few cars that are driving very fast on the service road um, don't hit you. Maybe this is a bike lane that started up, but who can tell with all the uh, foliage? And, um, we're doing the best we can with it. Uh, but we'll dip over now that that's over. And uh, there's still plenty of room for a driver to pass by. Also, this is going to gradually start to tick uphill because, and I had forgotten this, because I hardly ride this. Um, I mean, and I avoid riding down here. Frankly, there's not much for me to do down here. There are these office buildings, and I'm not sure what kinds of businesses are in these office buildings, but uh, they're not services that uh, I see. To and I mean, I think that there's a marijuana store down here. I think mean, there are a couple of, maybe there's a restaurant uh, when we get towards the end of it. But um, if nothing else, this should be a nice, safe place to bike without interruption of stoplights and stop signs. But, uh, but it's just not designed that way. We have maybe more bike lane here. There's some red curb, but then that gives way to parking. I think we're passing by some kind of David Busters or something like that. Um, and yeah, it's just competing with cars, whether they're parked or driving. We're in this uh, space of competition. And luckily, everybody's patient. I mean, it does seem like there is room here to put something in, and I don't know why there isn't anything here. Maybe it's because, well, you know, with the businesses, you would think that they would want to make it easier and safer for people who live nearby, like up the hill, in University Heights, North Park, South Park, Hillcrest, Normal Heights, Mid-City. Why not make it easier for people who might work down here to get down here and to leave and get back home? by connecting the bikeways either on the front or in Texas. That's, I guess, what I'm demonstrating in this video. And it's a longer route than I remembered it being, but the deal is that I was trying to get somewhere in North Park that was further west, and I didn't want to take Adams Avenue for it because, you know, I always take Adams Avenue and I end up competing with drivers up there and they get annoyed. I figured I would have a calmer route down here. And also I haven't shown it to you yet on this channel. So I wanted to make sure that I could um, just show it to you and show the people who work over in the city. Uh, I know that the D9 office and uh, we're actually over in D3 by this point, but we started off in district, actually we started in district seven Maybe we were in District 9 for just a moment. But now we're on this uphill. This is really where I wish there was some paint because I am going slower. I am going way slower because this is a pretty sharp ascent here. And, um, and I want to get where I'm going and I want to not get in the way of all these drivers. So um, we could use something over here. We can use some lanes. We can use some paint. Um, I don't know if we need a buffer. The nice thing is when you're going this slow, I mean, drivers are going pretty slow too. They know that they're on a hill. We also know that we're approaching a traffic light. I also want to point out those markings that you can now see in the rear view mirror. Um, I'm going to need to get over. The bike lane is to the left, but there is no design here to help me do this efficiently. So I get over, there's a driver behind me. And I also want you to take note of the right turn lane, the straight lane, and the left turn lane. I'm gonna hang out in this left turn lane and I just cut it for you because I can't speed up. But we wait for this light to turn green and this is how we get back up on the bike lane. So I'm making my turn. Are you joking? And then, of course, the driver has to break the rules. They turn lane, me motherfucker. In the turning lane. So they took a turn from the straight lane and put me in danger. And um, that's the situation. That's the design we have. So um, we are going to slog up Texas and drive less and ride a bike. Thanks so much.